Hey everybody, it's Jason Creel. You're watching the Lawn Care Life. Appreciate you watching the video. Today I'm gonna show you how to kill white clover. And what I'm gonna do in this video is I'm gonna show you four different products and we're gonna spray the white clover. And then we're gonna come back and see which product works best on the white clover. Let's get started with that right now. If you're in the lawn care business or thinking of starting a lawn care business and particularly weed control and fertilization though mowing as well i've got a lot of resources available at lawncarelife.com so you can go check those out now one thing you want to understand about white clover is that it is a perennial weed and it's not an annual weed what does that mean well, a lot of times people think that if you just put a pre-emergent out on your lawn that it just fixes everything and that's just really not true and the pre-emergent is going to help stop those annual weeds it's going to kill the weed during its germination or shortly after it germinates so it, it's basically we say prevents the weed but it 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 kills it so early in the life cycle that you usually don't you're not going to see it in the lawn now a perennial is a weed that that comes back year after year now a, a white clover being a perennial is one that you're going to have to go after with a post-emergent so a post-emergent you know one that that hence the name the the weed is already emerged and you have to use a herbicide that will kill it um, after the fact so today i'm going to be using four products the products i'm going to be using today are katana change up blindside and tribute total and i'll put links in the description where you can check these products out i'm curious personally to see which one works the fastest i don't have much doubt in my opinion that they're all four are going to work on the clover and that's something you want to understand is clover's not like a super difficult weed to control now some products are going to work better than others but one thing you want to do is to read the label and make sure that the product you're using is labeled for your grass type so i'm spraying in a bermuda lawn today all four of these products are labeled for bermuda grass and all four i believe will be successful on white clover so here's how the video will go we will spray the weeds and then come back and check on the progress and just observe the results one of the things that can be intimidating for homeowners and i'm this will be my last tip before i get started spraying is you think i want to get the best clover product or, or this can you know also a tip for professionals but i used to think you know how many spray tanks do i got to have on my truck because i got to have one product for clover and one product for hen bed and one product for poa and one product for nuts edge and one product for crab you know it's like you don't have to have one product for everything i mean you need to understand what grass types you have and then you might have to combine a couple of products so that you you have a combination like oftentimes i use celsius and certainty and that's a great combination that can be used on warm season grasses that will control a lot of different kind of weeds now it may not be the absolute best product for one weed um, but you, if you had the single best product for each individual weed, then you'd end up with so many different products and so many different spray tanks. So anyway, you have to kind of work with these products and find one that's going to work well for you. Let's get started spraying. Okay, so this is a Bermuda lawn. I want to show you the clover, and we've got a lot of it. I'm going to put plastic stakes in the yard so we can keep track of what we spray here. But you see the clover here, you know, it, there's lots of clover, and you can see this grass that's it's just some old nasty common bermuda grass to be honest with you it's just all out here in this field it's not a, a great looking lawn but anyway lots of clover all right the first product i'm going to use today is called katana now i've got my ppe on i've got rubber gloves rubber boots long sleeve shirt i'm going to take safety precautions so i've got the plastic stakes in the ground we're going to I've got four stakes for the four different products. We've got surfactant mixed in here with the product. When you're mixing the product, you want to read the label, and it'll oftentimes say for spot treating, use this amount in that label. So if it says per uh, thousand square feet, then typically that is equivalent to about one gallon of water in a little handheld spray or a backpack sprayer. So let's just say it says one ounce per thousand square feet for spot treating we'll then put one ounce in a gallon of water now if you spray real heavy then make it a gallon and a half of water to water it down a little bit but there's no need to spray it heavy we're just trying to get it wet the surfactant will help it stick to the leaf of the plant to be more effective start with katana
next product we're going to use is Tribute Total. Third product is Change Up. Fourth product is Blindside. Okay, so the application's been done. Now what we also gonna have is a lot of untreated clover left out here in the lawn. So this will be untreated, untreated. So we're gonna be able to compare it. And you know, we'll see, we'll come back and check on it maybe in a week or so, in two weeks. Now, the time of how, how fast it's gonna work, some products are gonna work different than others, faster than others. You know, it's not a race necessarily. It doesn't mean the fastest product wins. As I've mentioned before, the best thing is to find a product that is versatile and is labeled for your grass type and that you can use on a lot of different grass types if, if you're in the lawn care business. So a lot of these products are labeled for warm season grasses. You know, Tribute Total is, is just Bermuda in zoysia but you know change up katana katana i'm not sure i don't think is labeled for uh saint augustine grass but i'm pretty sure it's labeled for centipede bermuda zoysia blindside centipede bermuda zoysia saint augustine um, anyway check the label for the rate and everything we'll see how well it works and we'll compare it with some untreated but a lot of it will have to do with the weather the warmer it is the faster it's going to work in cold weather it's just slow to, to work, um, but we've been up in the 70s, actually gonna get in the 70s today. This clover is really gonna be actively growing with this type of weather. So I expect to get decently fast results from this, but we'll check back and see how well they work. We're here about eight days after the initial application, checking on the four different products and see what's happened. And we're gonna have to come back another a week or so after some warm weather we have in the forecast up in the 70s consistently and uh, see what the results look like. But let's see what the initial results are after about eight days after the application. All right, we're gonna start on the left side here and look at Katana. And I, I can see just a slight discoloration. Let me, let me show you some that hasn't been treated. I mean, this is untreated clover. And then you come over to the part that's been katana and i'll be honest it is very minimal again don't don't overreact on these results when you see it initially it doesn't mean that it doesn't work you know but we're just kind of seeing how fast it works and compares and it, and it may prove that it's not the greatest product for clover based on the results but you know it's, it's really too early to tell but we just wanted to see the initial results then look at uh, tribute total noticeably more discolored i mean i can see a lot of discoloration here in the the leaf on the edge some twisting and curling so uh, significantly more results on the tribute total after eight days then you move back here to change up more than katana but not as much as the the tribute total uh, i can see some discoloration but not not significant and like i said i know some of these products will work on clover it's just you know it's not necessarily a race and then lastly we're looking at blindside and i would say it, it uh blindside or, or tribute total seem to be working the fastest i mean you can look at see the discoloration on some of these leaves and the curling of the plant so again i think we come back another week we're going to see with warmer temperatures obviously it's going to make it uh, work faster but and these are our initial results we'll check back soon here's some again some untreated you see how leafy and green it looks we'll be back soon all right we're going to take a final look at the clover results there's not a police car in the background this time we're about two weeks after application. It's not officially spring yet, but we are in uh, in March and the weather is, has been decent. Now this would have done in the summertime, the, the results would have been much faster, but I think the, the results will speak for themselves 
uh, at this point. So let's take a look and see what's happened. All right, so we're gonna start with the katana. And again, we could drag this out for two more weeks and come back and see more results. But I, I'm, I wanna go ahead and, and wrap it up. And, it, and it's not a race to see which one works the fastest. But in this situation, the katana, to be honest with you, is not done a, an unbelievable job for two weeks. Now, it doesn't mean katana is not a good product, doesn't mean that the clover won't die, doesn't mean if you cut it, it won't grow back. But we're just, you know, looking at the visible results. Katana is a great product for, you know, what I mostly use it for is in warm season grasses. We're trying to get rid of like cool season grasses and our warm season grasses. So if you got ryegrass or fescue clumps, spray it with katana. It also works on poa and things like that. And it works on a lot of, you know, warm season weeds as well. Then you come over the tribute total, and I'm just saying, you know, just seeing the difference here. Katana, tribute total, a good product. Tribute total is going to be more expensive product, but it, it also works on those grassy weeds I was telling you that we use Katana for, but it's done a, a fantastic job on the clover. I don't think that's coming back anytime soon. When you start mowing the grass, and this is real thin Bermuda grass, but when you start mowing the Bermuda field in, you basically eliminate the clover. So tribute total definitely uh, looks like a successful clover product. Now, move over to this one. And this is change up, and this is probably the biggest change we had from since the last time that we looked at. There is a, a lot more discoloration after another week or so has gone by. You see here just a lot of real brown action where it's you know really starting to work on the clover and other uh, weeds you can see here's another weed that, that got sprayed in the process and it's turning brown so i imagine after another week or so you just going to continue to work on on the clover and see more discoloration and then lastly is blindside you can see i would say blindside came in third place as far as you know the quickness of it but also very effective so you know my final observation here just looking at this i wouldn't have any hesitation at all using tribute total or blindside or change up all three good products katana while it is a great product probably not the best product for clover but like i said definitely something i keep in my arsenal to use on other weeds in other situations and just to show you what the untreated clover looks like, huge difference, obviously. Well, thanks for watching the video. Hope you learned something, how to control clover. Some of these products can be used in both warm season and cool season turfs. You want to check that. Well, no, at least change up can. Uh, Katana, I don't think you're going to want to use that on your cool season turf since that's what we use it for. Tribute total, not so much, but uh, change up you can and, and blindside I believe you also can. But anyway, check the label for your grass type before using it on the lawn. If you haven't done so, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. There is over 600 lawn care videos, so you can go check those out. And if you're in the lawn business, you can go to lawncarelife.com. There's resources available for you there, including weed control and fertilization courses, documents, uh, programs that we offer on the website. Told you guys later. Bye.